Hey dudes and chicks and neither of those rules don't apply to you. Welcome to Make It For Last Time. My name is Katie. Today I am going to be popping this palette's cherry. Now, you might not know what this palette is because it's so mysterious and it doesn't give you any clues. This is the Sigil Inspired The Call of the Mist palette. I actually literally just had to Google the fuck out of this palette to find out what the name of it is. It's so... The language barrier is like real, okay? So I'm a fucking idiot and I don't know how to find or navigate or do anything. I'm surprised I even got this fucking palette. So this is what the color story looks like. And honestly, I saw it and immediately went to the website to see what it was. Um, essentially, the, the Sigil Inspired website, you have to... Um, sign up for a special method of payment and that's the reason I think why I never got the um, chinchilla palette or whatever um, because I wasn't like signed up on that thing and so I had to tell her and then go through a link that she sent me and it was kind of it was kind of a hassle but I'm really glad that I did it because these palettes are actually super special now the shimmer formula is not exactly it's more of that sultry like dark deep dusty vibe rather than the shimmering to the heavens type vibe but um they come re wrapped really special and it just feels like something like you know something special so I did get the chinchilla palette and so when I looked on the website and I checked for the chinchilla palette, it was there! And so I was like, oh bitch, I'm getting that fucking palette. And you guys all know what it looks like. It looks like this, but I didn't want to start with that because I know you guys have all already seen it. I definitely can't wait to get my shit into this. For today, if you guys want to see what my final thoughts on this palette are, or see how I got this look, or if you just like to watch, then hang out. Okay, so I'm already primed with my P. Louise primer in Rumor 02, and I'm going to start with my refer number 14, which I actually always save. I don't know what I'm saving it for, but I'm always saving it because I, I think it's my favorite brush. <laughs> it's not actually my favorite brush, but I really haven't given it a chance to be my favorite brush because I always save it because it's so special, and then I never use it because then by the time I clean my brushes, I'm still saving it. So basically, I literally use this like twice. So I'm going to start with my refer number 14 and I'm going to go into the color. <laughs> nice, they're numbered. Um, so it's exactly in the center so it has to be 082 and honestly I don't even remember what the name of this palette is but anyway so it's the dark blue. Well darkish. Not dark to some of us. And I'm just going to start placing this in my outer V. I'm actually going to try to see if I can't use every fucking one of these colors. I mean, with the palette this small, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to, right? But that's looking pretty fucking sweet. And I'm just gonna drag this almost to the inner corner, but then like stop like three quarters of the way. And just pulling this up over my brow bone. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys something really fucking weird. Just bear with me. You can't believe I'm gonna tell you something weird. No, not something weird. So, okay, I went um to a convention of narcotics anonymous in wyoming the other day um and with my sponsor and one of my best friends on the way back so while we were there somebody recommended that we watch this movie called the game changers it's a show on netflix and for those of you who are like who were like riveted by food ink and like cowspiracy and like all that shit like i actually haven't watched cowspiracy but i watch a lot of like food you know it's not really the food that, I mean, I'm interested in food, but I'm more like, I like to be in the know about how our system is poisoning us and trying to kill the poor. So anyway, um, <laughs> this movie, The Game Changers, it's about how eating plant-based foods um, basically has helped like a lot of the world record breakers in sports. And this really is a good fucking brush. And this really is a good fucking shadow. I'm so sorry, but I had to take a moment there. Look at that. It's just blending beautifully. No bullshit in the crease. Like if I put it there and blend it, it's blending. Like 
I don't know, like, whoa. So anyways, it basically, if you guys get a chance and you're into that kind of shit, like, go watch it because it talks about how plant-based diet um, is, man, that's really good. Okay, now I'm going to use my Made by Mitchell ME1 and I'm going to go into the color, oh shit, I hope it's 076, like my birthday, 76, yeah. It talks about... Also, like how plant-based diet, how eating, you know, because a lot of us are like, fuck cows, you know what I mean? Like, we don't really care, especially in Montana. Like, that's not even a thing. A lot of people hunt, and I mean, I I'm totally still, like, down for hunting. I'm not fucking saying anything, but um, it just talks a lot about how, like, a lot of our, like, world resources are used up by livestock farming and just i mean we already know all those shit like i don't give a fuck if you like cows or not but when you fucking watch a movie that fucking shows people like stomping baby cows heads in until they fucking bleed to death like you it, that shit ain't right right the thing is is my daughter fucking loves animals like she loves every animal every creature like great and small and so the longer i hang out with her the more I care about that shit. And honestly, I was thinking this morning about how I care. Since I've been in recovery, dude, the, the longer I stay in recovery, the more I care about stuff. And, you know, a lot of people who use drugs... God damn, that looks like magic right there. That looks like the fucking haunted forest right there. I actually feel like this palette is called something like the haunted forest. I'll have it in the intro, but anyway... <laughs> It really fucking does look like a ghostly tree. So the longer I stay clean, the more I care about garbage and consumption and fucking animals and people being connected and recovery and just like all the world issues, you know what I mean? God damn, that fucking blended like... Whoa! Look at that! It's like you can't even see. My daughter's like a big time animal lover and so like the longer I hang out with her the more I care about animals. And uh, so I watch a show called The Game Changers and it actually, I feel like it really, it did change the game for me. So two days ago I started eating a plant-based diet and I just like went, I don't cook. I don't clean. I like to be at home, but I don't care if my shit's a mess, right? It just like was pretty easy for me to go and just buy like a couple things and then I got on a, their website, thegamechangers.com and they actually have a bunch of really cool, like good fucking recipes for shit. It wasn't easy shit to make. It was like the pancakes had like 35 fucking ingredients in it. But, like, already, like, my little poochy belly is fucking starting to go away, like, with the quickness, like, after two days. And also, like, I feel like already my skin is looking better, and I don't know, I'm pretty excited about it. So I thought I would mention it to you guys, and if you guys are into that fucking foodie shit, which... I'm not into foodie shit. Like, I'm not a fucking foodie. Honestly, my friends from Helena are gonna see this video and be like, fucking Katie, Missoula, Missoula, you're so Missoula. But like, honestly, like, I ain't getting any younger and I'm gonna fight this shit with everything I have. And dude, most of the people, like, there's people who are, are like 70 years old. Dude, we just heard a guy speak, he's 77 and he just had an eight-year-old daughter. And people are doing that because they're eating plant-based diets. So it's like, I want to fucking try it so that I can fight this shit, right? Like, I'm not going to get old gracefully. I'm fighting it every fucking step of the way. So that's kind of what I've been doing. And honestly, this was so easy. I don't even know what to do anymore. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my, not my favorite brush for this, but um, my Voldemort JH33. And I'm going to go into this color 081. I'm hoping that they just go in order on the back the same way. Otherwise, it's completely backwards. But they're just numbers anyway, so who really gives a fuck? It's like a mauve brownie pink. It's definitely not going to lighten up my inner corner. It's like a, these are all like really deep, dusty. They're light colors, but they're deep and dusty. And I have to be careful because they are all pretty gray based and I don't want this to get muddy right here where I'm like blending them together. And just like gently feathering this up. Yeah, this is not my usual color combination. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's looking pretty cool. Mm, that's a little too... I want a little too... I don't want it to like... I actually like contoured my nose right there. <laughs> 
I'm going to go in with a brush with no additional product and kind of blend that out because I don't want that to look like that better. Mm, that looks pretty. Okay, and now I'm just going to kind of do the same thing on the underside. I kind of want to just go on with that pinkish color just because I want to. Man, these colors all blend together like fucking peanut butter and ladies, honestly. That pink blent right into that green like nobody's business. I'm gonna go back over with this bigger brush with no additional product and kind of just blur this all over the fucking place. I mean, really, these colors are such that you can't really fuck them up, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like a color story that you can like really go wrong with, like, it's not risky. It's not a risky color story, but. I'm just reinforcing that blue because I kind of lost it going all buck with that fucking pink. As I said, not too hard. God, I'm sweating like a pig. I'm drinking a naughty drink today. I like to drink kombucha, but I wait like four months so that I get a little buzz when I drink them. Because <laughs> there's like alcohol, fucking, what is it? Mineral, alcohol, something. Anyway. Mm. Trace elements. That's what they're called. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with... Okay. I need to think about this before I do it because I go in with a fucking glitter primer fucking all crazy and then I'm like, uh, as my glitter primer is drying. Okay. So there's four shimmers and three mattes. I'm going to use... So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this shit hole brush to put on my next glitter primer because I'm out of brushes. Okay, I'm gonna go into this color right here, this purpley color, 079, I believe. I can't believe I don't have any brushes to put on shimmers with. That's ridiculous, actually. Okay, and now I'm going into this darker green at the end. Ooh, this is gonna be the, this is where the magic happens right here. Ooh, and now I'm just going back into that pink and kind of trying my hardest to blend it with these inadequate fucking tools. And give it a little tappy, a little tap, tap, tap a -roo. I fucking played miniature golf the other day when I went to Wyoming. It was literally the funnest time of my life and I've never been worse at anything. I cannot believe how bad I suck at something so fucking trivial and unimportant. It's like almost embarrassing. Like I had to pretend like I don't even care because it was like actually humiliating. It was fucking disgraceful. Okay, I'm just like, I can't really pat this because I used a brush that had adhesive on it. So it's not really blending the way I want it to. I'm just going to maybe go like this. I'm going to take my Crown C528 and I'm going to go into that pink. There we go. And then I'm going to use this Kaleidos S5 and I'm going to go into this lighter green right here. Ooh. Okay. So when I saw this palette, I thought it was like gonna be more green. I don't, I thought it was like super green. And I swear to God, the name of it is like forest, something forest. So it like eludes to the fact that it's like green. So maybe I just like, I was interested in it the second that I saw it, but. 
I'm going to just wipe that off on my pants and then I'm going to take that silver, just a little tiny dot. I'm going to spray it with my MAC Fix Plus and then I'm just going to go. And then I'm going to blend this. And then I'm going to kind of go like this with that pink brush and just kind of blend that around. And I'm going to go back in with that gray, the dark blue slate gray. And I'm just going to kind of go like this. And then I'm going to go back into that green. That's the look. <laughs> Guess no more stories from me. Can I shut the fuck up now? I'll be right back. So this is the manifesto, the piece de resistance. I use my Rouge and Rogue eye wigs in Miss Fury, my NYX Slide On Glide On All Day Hard On in Golden Olive, my Notoriously Morbid Liquid Lipstick in Never Trust the Living, and my Alien Cosmetics Low Light in Laser Beam as my highlighter, and then my Arthurine Blush Palette by Menagerie in Cloudberry. Uh, as my blush. I fucking love this formula. I love this palette. It clearly comes to you with like this magical feeling. It's totally like clandestine and like fucking mysterious and like magical. And honestly, I feel like it looks like the colors look magical. Now, I will say the shimmers are more sultry than metallic. They don't really like, they're not like shining to the heavens or anything. They're more like shining to the hells. So basically like they're pretty, they're great, but they are not like what I'm used to and they are really sultry. I feel like all of the colors in this palette have a like a gray tone. I considered going in with black, but then I kind of like this like airy, cloudy, kind of, it's like a gray pastel. It's, it's like downtrodden, right? It's like a melancholy pastel look. So I decided to keep it. I think I would be way more wowed by the look if there was black in the outer corner. So love it. The formula, the matte formula is off the hook and I'm not sure if it's because of the, the level, like it's, they're like uh, lighter to mid-tone shadows, they blend fucking good. Like, I literally didn't even have to try. Honestly, I don't even, I think this might be the shortest video I've ever done. So anyways, love it. Love the look. Love the formula. Wish there was a little more depth. I'm not saying anything that everybody across the world isn't saying, but the color stories and the feel, it feels like you're getting something really exclusive. I feel like when you get it, you feel like you're getting something that's really special. It comes like gift wrapped in a fucking old school, like a seal. They're like sealed. And I mean, everybody knows they're like tied with rope and shit. It looks like really um, foresty and rustic and like you're actually getting something really special. So um, I'm super excited that I finally jumped on board with this. I'm really glad that they got the, uh, that pesky chinchilla palette or whatever the fuck it's called because I honestly saw that was available and ordered this. And I wanted this, but as I told you guys a long time ago, I if I couldn't get the pesky chinchilla or whatever it's called, um, it was, seemed pesky after my debacle with it. So anyways, I'm really glad that they came back out with that and that I got an opportunity to try these. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. Hit the like button if you like this look or if you just like my sparkling personality and my boy's charm and hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. You could have been anywhere, but you were here wasting your time with me and I totally appreciate you. Later.